Hey guys, it's Rich. Hey guys, it's Rich. With today we're gonna share a real brief. Yeah, province. Man, broke my signage. Three today. Bringing you another. Guys, thanks for watching this too. Oh. It's a Tuesday. It ain't no money to be made up in Vegas up in here. Yeah, there is. Any day of the week or night of the week in this town, you can make money. You got to execute, though. So first, I want to go back to New Year's. I talked about your cancel and your acceptance rate getting obliterated, which they did. And I'm going to tell you why they're important, especially in our market, man. They're crucial. So bite the bullet. Monday through Thursday afternoon, except every garbage ride, you know, 32 minutes east, 29 minutes southwest, wherever you're going, accept those rides, get the cancel rate low, get the acceptance rate high. You need to know where the hell they're going on the weekends because you do not want to be taking those rides on a Friday night, getting you out of the zone where the money is, setting up deals, getting folks to places to take care of you and take care of them with the fun. You gotta have that tool in your app. Uh, for Lyft, I, I don't know, man. For the life of me, I cannot figure out how this new Lyft Rewards works. I went from 92% to like 26% in a week. Have never gotten lower than a five star since June, according to their emails. Anyway, just work with it. I, it miraculously, on Lyft, I'm back on scene where the rides are going because I must have uh, given a hand job to some rider on lift but the money is there okay i went out and drove and by the way i dropped a 20 at a gas station today i did start with 27 bucks so in all disclosure um i dropped 20 at a gas station on uh some gas and a uh jack's hot links over there in my door oh by the way hide that shit if lift riders get in your car because if it ain't bolted down they're gonna steal that shit so <laughs> What do you do, man? So here's the deal, man. My second ride was a pickup at Denny's right next to Cura Leaf. It's pretty simple, man. Oh, were you guys over at Cura Leaf? You just came over to Denny's parking lot? No, what's Cura Leaf? Are you kidding me? They got 20% off weed through the end of business today, man. Let's go by there. Happened to be the chick's birthday, too. So she got a she got a uh, free uh, pre-roll with her purchase as well. Uh, a few rides later, <laughs> it's hilarious. This woman gets in my car arguing with some student loan outfit about how she can't pay the student loan right now. And anyway, she gets put on hold and she starts calling, man, this bitch ain't even listening to me. And I throw out, I go, yeah, man, I, I know how you feel. I spent three hours on the phone with the IRS this morning, got transferred five times. It was just ridiculous. Anyway, she finally got off the phone. She was staying in an Airbnb West down Flamingo. I said, man, it looks like you could use a pre-roll. She goes, can we stop and get some weed? Yeah, I got you, no problem. Over to Apothecary, was there twice today. Um, David A, you'll, you'll love this. All you grocery store hating motherfucking drivers up in here. I use my destination filter. Fortunately, I live about two and a half miles east of the Walmart on Eastern. So I fire up my destination filter going to, usually like Encore uh, when I leave. And at least uh, half a dozen or more times, I get rides picked up you know, at Walmart on Eastern. Um, and I love it when I see 12 minutes north or 12 minutes west. Um, you know they're going back to the strip. They came over there to get some goods and belong or get some stuff for their room. Um, picked up some folks. Let me show you this David A real quick. Uh, let's see. There's a Walmart pickup. 40 minutes, Rich. Why is the ride so long? Oh, sorry, guys. They needed. They didn't need any weed. They already had some, but they needed some papers. I called Five Star en route. Hey, do you guys have zigzags or raw or whatever it is? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, took them to Five Star. We passed White Castle, and uh, the chick was actually like, I love White Castle. I said, you want to flip back? I'll pull through the drive-thru for you guys. Got to be aware of your situation, too. It's Tuesday night. There were only like three cars in line. But people will take care of you with a $10 tip in the app. I don't know, 40 bucks, 40 minutes. Can't do much better than that on a Tuesday night. Um, hit hell, let alone a Friday or Saturday night sometimes. So you got to execute on all these rides. You got to bring it up. You got to talk the money, talk the things they need. 
Uh, they're all here doing it anyway. Why can't you make some money too? They're going to go anyway. You need to make some money too. So you help them out. Be aware of where you are at all times. I'll be back in a second. All right, I'm back. Same badger hat, same badger shirt, and same badger ass whipping at the hands of Michigan tonight. God, that was ugly. Yeah, you, you can cheer. No, I know you are, but Nebraska sucks even worse. So when do you bring these things up? Always, okay? It's not just at the airport. You don't have to be an airport driver to get money drops. Yeah, it's a little easier. They just arrived. It's fresh money. Uh, who's the first person they meet in Vegas? You, their driver. So you have some great opportunities. I mean, I had a an awesome one on a Saturday night, but you know, you gotta get the impressions out there in marketing speak. You gotta say things all the time. Get habitual. Again, going back to Cure Relief, man. I, I don't care where I pick up. I just throw it out, man. If I sense that they may be partiers, or even you know, I'll throw it out to anyone unless. They're reading the Watchtower Awake in my back seat or telling me to sign up for Mormonhood or whatever it's called. But I throw it, hey, have you guys been over to Cure Leaf yet? You want to know what the response is? It's always, what's that? There's your opening. I mean, asking, hey, do you want to go buy some cannabis? It's legal here in Vegas. You can do that. You'll occasionally get lucky. The other thing, too, when you're picking up on the strip and they've been here for a day or two, the great question is, so where'd you guys go for weed? Uh, they almost all went, you know, again, use your best judgment, establish a little rapport. You know, have, have you visited one of our dispensaries? We're sort of famous for that. However you want to phrase it, you know, that works well with what that group, uh, you gauge, you know, what type of people they are, you throw it out there. Oh, we haven't gotten any yet. Bam, there's an opening. Oh, we went to Dispensary X. Oh, that place is cool. Again, never disparage wherever they want. I, I don't get drivers who do this. Oh, you got ripped off. I know a way better place. You want to get in someone's car having someone say that shit to you? No, of course not. You want to get in someone's car who's funny, friendly, a good, safe, smooth driver. I mean, that's important too. I'm, I don't know if you saw TT's video. I mean, you got to have your head on a swivel in this town. I don't care if I'm first at the light and it turns green. With packs, with anyone in, you know, in the car especially, I do a double check that makes them know you're a safe driver. And that's appreciated. That alone may add, add, add a tip to the um, fare for you. I mean, it's just being uh, the driver who can help them, who's safe, who's smooth. I mean, smooth rides are so crucial. No one wants to get in a stranger's car without knowing how they drive. My gut is that's the main reason most drivers get deactivated anyway. They can't drive. I mean, it's it's not easy. It's not easy, especially in a market where, I don't know what, half a dozen people a night are driving the wrong way down a one-way street. Shit, I saw someone uh, a couple weeks ago literally coming the wrong way out of the Terminal 1 garage. It's just, it's baffling. It's mind boggling to me. And no, they weren't taking a U-turn to go up to the rideshare area, although it probably was a new rideshare driver. They literally were coming out and I'm laying on the horn going, flip around, flip around. So those things, being smooth, being careful, throwing out shit, man, I do this all the time. If the idiot in front of me holds me up at security, I, I pull up to security with my riders in the car and go, hey, bro, I hope he at least got his number, man. And drive. Just keep moving, man. You put a smile on their face, you up your odds for not only a tip, but a decent tip. Last thing they hear leaving your car has got to be a positive. Um, and shit, I mean, this money, this is, isn't even, this isn't even including the garbage lift riders i mean someone gave me three bucks for snagging a pack of gum i got i got more single than a stripper at cheetah's bonitas from uh literally a tuesday so get out there stay positive be funny make money